What's up, guys? Welcome back to our Dark Aether series here on my second account. And in our last video, our top comment was from xxlzzzz one zero trash kid saying he wants us to get something useless done any melee weapon on fire base c or he says dank base c and big bush as our fill upgrade which i assume he means toxic growth and we can't use stamina up so that's what we're gonna be doing today but with uh, the toxic growth thing i think we might have to use aether shroud for a camo challenge here uh, i'm gonna check in a second but really quick for whatever reason you know when i make these videos i'll i'll make i'll like record them the night before edit them that night and then schedule them to go up uh whenever i schedule these videos i always make sure to put the comment on there first and pin it and then by the time it goes live it seems like the comment just disappears so i'm just gonna put a, sc a screenshot of the comment up here on the video so here's all the weapons we have left to complete make sure you leave the suggestions down below uh if you see any weapon suggestions as well that you would have commented make sure that you're liking those and voting them up because in our in our last like our last top comment there was only one like away from who would have been top comment and i've been seeing a lot of like repeat comments of like everybody putting like the same weapon so if you guys just come together and vote we can get that weapon done anyways we're working on the wakasashi today i just got done leveling this up we leveled it up in multiplayer that way that we have all the camos to complete here uh, we have to get 750 kills with it uh 50 kills while enemies are stunned like disoriented or confused by a monkey bomb or decoy brush stroke we need 750 because while it's packed and then here's what i was talking about with our field upgrade so this for our vintage camos we need to get 15 kills with it against enemies who are affected by frost blast ring of fire or while i'm in aether shroud so we're going to start with aether shroud try to get all the way to our manic camo and then we'll switch to toxic growth and then we need 10 special or elite kills 10 kills rapidly 10 times and then the jack rabbits which is probably the hardest part of this but i'm excited to have done a melee weapon in a bit so let's go ahead hop on firebase z and get this thing done all right here we go driving on in with the twin showed me holding the krieg but we we're definitely not using that today all right so i'm gonna try to get this aether shroud as fast as possible so we can knock that challenge out i don't want to forget to switch field upgrades but melee weapons are so much fun to do in zombies most of them are going to be a one-shot kill throughout like the whole game as long as you're upgrading them you know, pack a punch them, upgrade them at the armor stand, all that good stuff. All of them except, I think, the Psy is the one that starts two hitting at like round 33 or something like that. But I really like using the melee weapons because there isn't really anything you really need to focus on like when doing them. Like for any like weapon, anything that you shoot, you're going to need to get like critical kills. And those are the ones that usually take like the longest for me to grind. Like it's always like the last thing I get done just because like there, there's going to be times where you're going to miss a shot or two or you're going to like accidentally kill a zombie with something else. Like you're going to hit a body shot like it's whatever but with uh melee weapons you can basically just get kills any way you want as long as you're not getting hit then you'll probably end up just getting gold viper by playing with it because you don't need a whole lot of kills with it and the only thing specific you need to look out for is just the fuel upgrade so melee weapons always a lot of fun uh, we'll try to get this one done fast today and the reason i say we'll get this done fast is because i know for a fact or maybe not for a fact, at least in my experience, that using melee weapons against Firebase Z Orda does not work. One, it's going to take forever to him for him to even be able to walk to an area where we can actually hit him. So there's going to be a long downtime where zombies are just hitting our generator and we can't even like do damage to Orda. And then by the time he gets there, I think it just does little to nothing. So I'm trying to avoid Orda at all costs today. I don't want him to get that W over me. I'm going to go ahead and try to get this done before he even spawns in. And I think it might be possible. So normally when we hop on here, it's like, yeah, let's go in here. Let's test this against order today. I'm like, nah, I don't want to see him. I don't want him to have that W. Let's grind this rail. Nasty. Here, stamina up the perk that we can't get today. I'm going to try to remember not to grab that. Let's go ahead and start up our reactor. But melee weapons are definitely some of my favorites to do in zombies or even in multiplayer. They're just like my favorite set of weapons in like these COD games. It's just so much fun in multiplayer, just outmaneuvering somebody and just messing them up with nothing but like a tomahawk and a knife because people get so mad when they get knifed but they'll get killed by like the same meta ar a million times and still like be fine which it's, it's fun to see like the cod psychology and people of like oh i got knifed i'm pissed versus like oh this person's using like the same ak-74 you build as everybody else i'm fine with that and just it's really satisfying to just do well with them and then here in zombies it's like every like zombie movie or show you've seen where somebody's just got like a sword or some crazy like melee type weapon just going through and slicing up hordes of zombies with it's just really satisfying but there's our first reactor complete get out of here zombies and we're very close to having our field upgrade so the second we have our aether shroud filled up i think i'm gonna try to like train as many zombies up as possible because we don't need too many kills just 15 we'll do that and then we can switch to our toxic growth and i don't even know how i'm gonna do with toxic growth like i don't know where i'm gonna put it 
I might just be playing with no field upgrade after that. Let's grab this loose change. Zombies get a little closer so I can stab you. Come here. There you go. And I'm glad I got given the option to pick any melee. Because it's been a while since I've used the Wakasashi. And before, I think this, like before the E-Tool dropped, I'm pretty sure this was like classified as the best melee weapon in zombies. Because I think it's swing speed and it's like distance is better than uh, just a default knife. But then once the E-Tool came out and it was buffed, it was all over for all other melee weapons. You know, just ask Lego about it. But at least the, the size are cool. They kind of competed with it for a little bit, at least like in movement. Like in movement capabilities, the size are definitely uh, a step above the E-Tool, but them just not killing it. Round 33, just in one shot is kind of disappointing. Any melee weapons that's not one shot is really annoying. Also, I got beef with melee weapons too. Having to like level them up, like there's no point in me leveling up these melee weapons. I get nothing out of it. The only thing I get is the ability to unlock camos, which is just ridiculous. It's stupid. There's no point of me having to use a weapon just to unlock the ability to unlock other things for it. Also, let's grind this rail. Oh, oh, well, we bounced off the end of it and slid. I'll take it. I think that one counts. But like I said uh, last time we did a melee weapon, I don't know. I don't remember if it was a, a multiplayer video or a zombies video, but I said the one thing Vanguard did better than Cold War was their melee and like launchers like both those weapons not needing like weapon levels it, it was just perfect like there's no point in leveling them up and they they understood that so hopefully going into modern warfare in our next black ops game they they understand that as well and right, give me that loose change and before i start up this reactor i want to get all these zombies trained up because the second i start the reactor they're all just going to go and hit the other reactors and everything they're all not going to be in the same spot but if I get them trained up and pop this Aether Shroud, we can get this challenge done really fast. Just might get power on a little later than we're used to. All right, we got a decent amount of zombies here. I don't think it's quite 15, but you know, let's just use our Aether Shroud. Take all of them out, hopefully. There's already one camo. Oh, damn. We didn't get all the way there, but we got close. Oh, they gave me armor too. Thank you, guys. And insta-kill don't really matter with these either. It only just stops me from getting my field upgrade back, so I probably shouldn't have grabbed it. And I think our final reactor is done. Let's go. Oh, Mimic, come here. Give me that first elite kill. Thank you. Oh, we unlocked the E-Tool. Let's go. I'm pretty sure I already had it unlocked, but I mean, we'll take a, a second unlock. All right, wrapping off. Turn on that Pack-a-Punch machine. I'm going to need it. So we can start getting Pack-a-Punch camos. Take these guys out. We got bonus points. I'll take it. Really quick, this is what the Wakasashi looks like pack punch. I don't normally show off these, or at least I, I've been missing it a few times, but it looks pretty decent. Just don't like this camo. And I'll say another great thing about melee weapons is since we don't have to worry about like critical kills, we don't have to worry about what ammo mod we use because it won't be taken away from our critical kills. So you can use Shatter Blast. You can get all the zombies in a nice little group. And once you got all your zombies grouped up, you just swing one time. Oh wait, where'd Shatter Blast go? And swing one time, there it is. And you take them all out. They kind of they kind of trolled me there, not giving me that. The only bad thing, though, is we can't do the bunny Easter egg, I don't think. I think you need to ADS at them. Maybe if I just stare, it'll work. Come on. Oh, it does work, actually. All right, so forget everything I just said. Be a little faster, though, bunny, before I get taken out here. Oh, no, please don't knock me. Stop hitting me. Ooh, that was close. Okay, well, you learn something new every day. There you go. Hit the gritty. Nasty. Oh, can I even hit these bunnies? I didn't come in here with the gun. Can I jump and swing at them? I can. Perfect. All right, there's a mimic in here. I want to take him out. Give me another elite kill. There we go. There's a growl camo. Bunny number two. Get the fuck out of here. And then while we have all these guys grouped up, get a nice shatter blast on them. Take out the mimic too. And let's get our last bunny. Got him. Are we going to be lucky enough to get the ray K here? Let's see. Nope. We got a gold M79 though. That's not bad. Basically the, the wonder weapon of this game now, if you got PhD. All right, what perks should we get? I know that we can't use stamina up. But what's going to be helpful here? I don't know. Death perception. Uh-oh. I can't swing while I'm grabbing perks. Major downside to melee weapons. Actually, we got quite a few zombies here. Maybe now is the time that we can Aether Shroud and then switch over, switch over to our toxic growth. Jeez, I have such a hard time speaking sometimes. But come on, zombies. Go ahead. Train up. Get that Aether Shroud on you. Any Shatter Blast going to go off and make this easier? Not looking like it. Oh, there it is. There's our Boutique Camo and Glacier and Manic. Okay, so we can switch this. Toxic Growth is now on. Are these decoys? No, oh, that's a decoy. Let's go. So let's train these zombies up again. We'll give it time for our uh, Shatter Blast to cool down so we can use it again. And we toss that out there. Hit them one time for the one time. 
And that is a lot of distracted kills we just got. There we go. That's 50 kills while pack a punch. 10 kills rapidly. Did we get any jackrabbit kills there too? Does not look like they want to give it to us. Okay, we'll get quick revive. We can recover health faster. And we should probably just get elemental pop. Why not? We don't get to use elemental pop while we're grinding camos. So we get to use elemental pop and ammo mods. Like, come on. Melee weapons are just goaded in zombies. Oh, there's corrosion. Getting our jackrabbit medals up. We actually have a pretty decent range with the Wakasashi. A lot further than you think. It's almost like Commando Pro. I do need more distracted kills, though. Do I have enough to buy a decoy? I do. We can grab a few. Two, that is. Also, while we have some money, can we buy Mule Kick? We can. Mule Kick might help us save on those decoys. Probably should have bought it before we bought some, just because sometimes you can get that buy one, get one. But also, when we use the decoys, it'll let us just keep one. Sometimes. All right, so get on there. And Shatter Blast. No Shatter Blast. There it is. Nice. Any camos for that? None? Oh, there's Gunrunner. Where are those elites at? I didn't see any mimics the last round. Training in these early rounds is so stupid easy. I guess it's just stupid easy in Cold War in general. I'm literally just running in a circle here and we got a nice, well-kept pack of zombies here. If I just hit one Shatter Blast without getting hit, I think we might just take out all of our Jackrabbit camos here. Check this out. Bam. Oh, wait. Shatter Blast, please. Almost there. This one for sure. Nope. Okay. There we go. Just slaughtered the whole crew. I think we might have got hit in the middle of that though, so we didn't get any jackrabbit progress. All right, Elemental Pop, come here. Does Deadshot help at all with melee weapons in this game? I'm assuming not, because you don't need to aim with it, but with Deadshot, you do get that, ad that added boost for like attacking the same enemy like multiple times in a row. So maybe it'll help kill elites faster, but I'm pretty sure it specifically says shoot. So Deadshot might be useless for melee weapons, like entirely. Does it help if you melee their crit points? So you do more there? Cause you get bonus critical damage. There's degeneration. We're making our way up with our pack-a-punch camos. Ooh, we got four elites now. Quick scavenger camo. All right, I have a plan to actually make this toxic growth useful. So I'm gonna put it right here and then that way, if I ever get to a part where there's too many zombies I need to run, I can just run through there and slow them down. All right, on the decoy you go. And to the camos you go. There's Grudge, 250 kills with it. We're a third of the way there. Okay, now do we upgrade the damage or do we upgrade the armor? I'm thinking armor will we'll go safety first here because we can always just pack a punch with our points. Points shouldn't be too hard to come by. On the decoy you go. Quick Shatter Blast on him. Let's go. Wasteland camo. Love to see it. Guess what? Take another decoy. All right, Mimic, you got to get out of here, man. Oh, we got an assault wave. All right, our first assault wave here. Just zombies, though. No Orda. We have to get this done in, within 20 rounds if we want to completely avoid Orda. Oh, I never grabbed that loose change. What's wrong with me? I'm grabbing PhD, though. Sliding away. Probably a lot better if we don't got uh, stamina up to run away with. What's up, zombies? I'm going to throw that down. Yeah, everybody get there. Keep you all in a nice line. Hit the Shatter Blast on you. Oh, it didn't even travel as far as I thought it would. We leveled up, though. And take it. Downfall camo. That's 250 while it's packed. And we made it through pretty easily. I didn't even, like, react when we got it done. So I'm like, all right, that's over. I think the one thing that might hold us back here is our elites. Firebase usually has a lot of elites spawning. But we're only at six out of, like, what, 15? We're on round 14. Better start seeing some more elites. Maybe I should start running around the map to see if we can get those mimics to spawn off the items. Oh, speaking of mimics, what's going on, pal? Get out of here. Sit down. All right, time to go pick up Pack-a-Punch 2 on this. Now, this is what Pack-a-Punch 2 looks like on the Wakasashi. Very nice. The coverage on this thing is great. I can tell Dark there's going to be nice on it. Let's also put some Toxic Growth over here. Just to wall off our area. That way, if we do get kind of chased, we have three areas to go to. That'll be safe. Toxic Growth is such a fun field upgrade. Oh, what's up, Mangler? Guess what? Sleepy time. Night-night. Okay, maybe specials won't be a problem. All right, let's upgrade it to blue, I guess. And we can get our armor level three. Is there any other perks I should get? I think we're good. I guess I'll try Deadshot just in case. We don't even really need Speed Cola either because I'm not really using my field upgrades, so we don't need to get that faster. And we definitely don't got to reload this thing. So like, what's the point? Maybe the a faster box spin? I don't know if we'll be hitting the box though. There's a Mangler here. Guess what, Mangler? Bop, gone. One slice. All right, let's see if we are done with our decoy kills. Zombies, go ahead and line up for me. Hop on that. Shatter Blast, take it away. No camos there? What? All right, maybe we try one more time. On the decoy for me, please. That is a fat amount of kills in one slice. I'll tell you what. We get rewarded with a nice max ammo. We also just got our glitch camo. So we're getting close on those jackrabbits. Got to make sure we're not getting hit. Bloodshed, let's go. About to be some bloodshed. 
on this mangler on the beach. Rising tiger. Okay. Only five more elites left. Now I'm just staying in here in the boardroom or whatever this room is called. I'm using toxic growth to help me keep my jackrabbits up. It actually has a use now. Or at least it's something I'm using it for. And we're just big chilling over here until one of these breaks. And then we're going to be big panicking. The last one, a mangler. Where you at, mangler? Come here. Schleiss. I guess just in case I'll have one here in the middle. Oh, I didn't want to brain rot you. Damn. And we've already ran out of toxic growth. They're all gone except for our emergency one. Any of these guys drop stuns or a decoy? Anything that I could test to see if we're fully done with that challenge? No? Okay. Cool. And we got another assault wave. That means we're only one assault wave away from Orda. And I'm really trying to avoid them. All right, I bought some stuns. Let's test it on these zombies. Everybody gets stunned. Any camel progress here? Nothing? I think we might be done with those. There's Drench. That's 500 kills while it's packed. That means we got to be really close on getting just 750 just normally. Okay, throwing down that Toxic Growth. Because we got two Mimics here that are both sleep. I think Toxic Growth might have killed one of them, so that sucks. Taking away our camo progress, Toxic Growth. Come on. Oh, there's Amphibian. 20 melee kills with a Wakasashi while they're stunned. Wait a minute. Has Shatter Blast not been helping me out here? If so, kind of whack. But we finished our Assault Wave, so who's the real winner? All right, let's hurry up and try to get this thing pack three before we get assaulted. There we go. All right, so let's try to stun these guys. Get some of these kills. Maybe we'll get some more camo progress. There's Conviction. We're all done with our Jackrabbits. We don't got to worry about getting hit at all anymore. Uh, at least enough to not go down. And then with the double points, we'll get all these points from stunning them. On top of getting all these kills, there's Boundary. All right, so we're at 30. So we definitely have not been doing it right. All right, use our last stun. Take these guys out. Maybe Shatter Blast has not been helping. I'm so confused. Oh, wait, there's Threshold. Okay, so we're only 10 away for there. And we got to be very close on our kills. I'm saying we're done by round 28. So as long as Orda doesn't show up early here... We can kind of sneak past without him ever seeing us. Oh, I just saw a Mimic spawn in here. Come on, pal. Yeah, get down. There's another one. Sleep. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to throw down our Toxic Growth here. I'm going to slow all these zombies down. Make sure they're all running in this direction. Throw down another one. Oh, that's a lot of kills. I only really wanted to slow them down, but just so enough time so I can buy a stun. But we got a lot there. Let's go reap our rewards. Mangler, you got to go. Get out of here. Oh, we got a calling card for that. Any camos, though? Nope. All right. Back to the stuns. No way we're not done with that camo yet. Oh, there's Banish. Perfect. So I'm pretty sure it just kills now. At least I hope so. Every time I've done a melee weapon, I've had to go look up the melee weapon challenges after I've done it. Just to make sure that we're getting everything done. I guess I'll just grab Speed Cola. Why not? Never know when you're going to need those toxic growths, I guess. Oh, there's Rotten. Okay, we're all done with our normal kills. I'm pretty sure it's just Pack-A-Punch left. I can't remember anything else that we have to do. Because we did our Jackrabbits. We did our Aether Shroud kills. And we did our Distracted. So that's three. And then we got our normal kills. We're doing Pack-A-Punch. What's the other challenge? Oh, the, ten, the, the kills rapidly. I'm pretty sure those are done as well. Those have to be. You don't realize how much those attachments on the guns that, like, boost salvage drop help. Until you're using a melee weapon, because we're only at 344 blue salvage. I understand that we've spent a little bit getting these, but those cost the green salvage. You know, normally around like close to this time or like very near round 30. So I guess maybe we're not that close, but we'll normally have like near a thousand blue scrap so that we can get our weapon gold. But now we're only at 300. And was that our final special? Special was the other one, right? Yeah. So that was not our final special unless we got it and I missed it. Oh, there's Gold Viper. Let's go. We got it around 24. That's fast. We got this thing done. Let's go. So we did get all of our specials. That was our final pack a bunch kill there. All right. Well, uh, let's go find an area where I can just sit at and see how long I'll survive. Oh, actually, let's throw on the Rampage Inducer and let's go sit in Weapons Lab and see how long it takes for me to die there. So Rampage Inducer is on. And now let's go to one of the fastest spawning points on this map and see if we can even make it another round. What's up, Weapons Lab? This is going to be my tomb. We're just going to sit here and swing. I'm sitting here doing this. Intense gameplay right now. Insane gameplay. Y'all coming at me one at a time. Bam, got them. I'm pretty sure with the upgraded melee, I do get health back for every like melee kill I get. Or is it armor back? No, it might be health. Okay, we made it through the round. Let's see if I'll, I'll die before I can get this thing all the way fully upgraded to gold. If I can survive until Orda gets here, we'll try it. We'll, we'll try going against him. All right, it's getting kind of crazy over here, but we're getting our health back. We just need a Shatter Blast to go off to alleviate some pain. Maybe not. Okay, we're down, but we're not out. Let's quick revive. We're back to holding our own. No elemental pop here, so Shatter Blast is a little less likely to happen. These Mimics are still getting cooked, though. Oh, I'm done. 
That's over. Oh, wait. We have a self revive or we have quick revive? Come here. Got him. Replace that armor. We're back in business, baby. Weave. Oh, that's still hit. We're making it. We're doing it. Okay, maybe we're dead. Wait, Shatter Blast is helping. And we're asleep. We're gone. Wait. No, we're asleep. Yeah, for sure. Okay. That was a lot of back and forth, a little up and down. But we got a thousand eliminations there. Critical kills somehow. <laughs> I don't know how. Uh, zero revives and our three downs from our final stand. But we got that done pretty fast. Let's go check out the camos for it. All right, let's take a look at the camos on the Wakasashi. Here is Golden Viper. Very nice. Looks actually really good with Gold Viper. The entire blade's covered. The handle, not so much. Maybe am I seeing some texture down there? Like right in the middle? Uh, that actually just might be the default. How it just looks. Still pretty cool. Plague Diamond is amazing. The blade is that secondary color, but the whole handle, the whole grip is just studded out in diamonds. Probably a lot better way to do it. Don't want to get diamonds, you know, coming off of the blade when you're using it. Just there on the hands. Very nice. And then Dark Aether looks sick when we can actually see it straight on. Camo goes away. A little angle. Camo comes back. Looks really good. Uh, I think they actually changed the handle here. Like we have that all like black tape on it. Actually, it's like that on uh, Gold Viper, too. I guess it just looks better here with Dark Aether. Not a bad looking weapon. Let's go see what it looks like in game with Dark Aether. All right, this is what the Wakasashi looks like in game with Dark Aether. Uh, right now, we're getting the worst pattern possible. It is just pure obsidian. Not looking great. Let's give it a second. Okay, now it should be looking a little better. You know, we're getting a little bit of the pattern on there. Looks pretty good. It's like a galaxy blade. Oh, there we go. It's starting to lighten up a bit. This thing looks nice. One of the cooler weapons in this game, and it has great coverage. This weapon looks amazing, but can it do one thing? After this quick little inspect, can we hit the snake with it? No, maybe we can jump from there and hit him. Let's go try it out. All right, he's right here. About to get Assassin's Creed. Oh, that was probably the worst possible jump I could have done. All right, try it again. I missed. And there you go. He just survived it. The snake has flak jacket. It's confirmed. All right. One more try, snake. If I don't hit this, you survive. Oh, I got him. Let's go. Get out of here. Yeah, I can beat an AI snake that don't move with a sword. I'm that kind of pro gamer. All right. But with that, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. So if you guys like this, if you want to see more, go ahead and leave a like on it. If you didn't and you don't dislike, if you're new here, please start to subscribe and put out all kinds of COD content throughout the week. Uh, please follow me on Twitter. I'm trying to get to the point where I can ship posts and get a lot of likes. So if you want to help out, head on over there. Uh, make sure you guys leave your suggestions down below and as well as voting for other suggestions that you see. But that's going to be it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Later.